demand side platforms. What is it and how can they help you? Hi guys, it's Naomi back again with another episode of Ad Teach, where we cover all things ad tech. Today, we'll be looking at demand side platforms, how they work and how they can help publishers. DSP, a demand side platform, is a programmatic advertising platform that allows advertisers and media buying agencies to automatically bid on display, mobile, video, and search ad inventory from a range of publishers. They automate the decision-making process on how much to bid for an ad, making the ad buying process significantly faster, cheaper, and more efficient, meaning advertisers no longer have to manually contact publishers with offers. So how does a DSP actually work? Good question. Remember, DSPs exist to replace the manual ad buying process with a real-time bidding platform, and all of the steps can be summarized in the following. The advertiser selects their target audience and uploads the ad that they want to publish. Publishers make their ad inventories available on the DSP through ad exchanges and supply-side platforms (SSPs). These platforms offer the ad impression to the DSP, which makes a decision to send a bid to buy the impression based on relevance to the targeting criteria. The advertiser competes with other advertisers for the ad impression, placing bids in real time. The demand side platform buys the impression and then the ad is shown on the publisher's website. What are the types of demand side platforms? There are two types of DSPs, a self-service and a full-service DSP. Self-serve DSP is just a platform where advertisers can buy advertising. Campaign, ideation, execution, and reporting would be performed by the advertiser's team or agency. To give you a better idea of how DSPs work, we could take a look at Google Ads as an example. Google Ads is technically a DSP. As an advertiser, you would log in, set up your campaign, select your targeting, and then launch it. However, the difference between Google Ads and a regular DSP is that Google would only serve ads within its Google products. The same would go for Meta's Ad Manager. You could create campaigns on it, but it will only serve within their products like Facebook or Instagram, and not to publishers. A full-service DSP behaves more like an agency. An external team within the DSP takes control and responsibility over the campaign from start to finish. It's more expensive and the advertiser has less control over the campaign execution, but it's usually more convenient for them. A full-service DSP is advantageous because they have their own dedicated team, the technical know-how, and possibly even special relationships with SSPs. Some examples of DSPs you might have heard of include Google Display and Video 360, The Trade Desk, AppNexus, which is now part of Xander, Adobe Advertising Cloud, and Amazon Advertising or Amazon DSP. How do DSPs differ from SSPs? Simply put, a DSP and an SSP connect to different parts of the programmatic ecosystem. As we've established today, a demand side platform is a tool used by advertisers to organize ad buying, whereas a supply side platform is used by publishers to automate the sale of advertising space. How do DSPs help publishers? DSPs have disrupted and introduced key innovations to a process that was regarded as inefficient. This was due to the necessary negotiations and back and forths that would occur between the media buyers or advertisers and the publishers. Consolidating supply into a single platform that automates ad buying via real-time bidding helps to boost transparency, accountability, and widens advertisers' reach across various publisher websites. This of course means that publishers have an easier time filling in ad space and can focus on bringing in more revenue. And that is it. Hopefully you have a better idea of how DSPs work within the programmatic ecosystem and how it affects publishers. If you're interested in learning more, you can check out the blog post in the link below or book a chat with us in the description box. If you also enjoy these sorts of explainer videos, please do consider liking and subscribing as it helps out our channel immensely. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.